Welcome to the Exodus channel, your home for the latest crypto knowledge in Exodus tutorials. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's learn how to import a private key. Exodus supports private key import for over 100 assets like Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, Ethereum, and many, many more. Pretty much all of the popular cryptocurrencies are supported. If you prefer to use the Exodus mobile app, it's really easy to scan your private key there, but the feature is only available for Bitcoin. So, if you're importing the private key for anything other than Bitcoin, you're going to need to use the desktop app. We'll go over both Bitcoin and non-Bitcoin private keys in this tutorial. We're going to use the Bitcoin private key for this first example and begin with the mobile app followed by the desktop application. Both applications can be downloaded by clicking the link above or by directly visiting exodus.io. Here we are on the Exodus mobile app. Tap Bitcoin to enter the Bitcoin wallet and tap the gear icon in the top right corner. And here we see the option to add Bitcoin from private keys. We can either paste a BTC private key or scan a QR code to move Bitcoin into Exodus. I'm going to tap the QR code icon, which will open up my phone's camera so I can scan the QR code from my paper wallet. I already copied my private key, so I just need to tap it in the box here to automatically paste it. Tap import, and that's it. The funds were successfully moved. We can go back to the wallet and see that the Bitcoin transaction is now pending but it should take no longer than 10 minutes to confirm. Let's move over to the desktop app. I'm going to pop into the Ethereum wallet. It's the same process as Bitcoin, but just doing this so you can see if the process works with another asset. Now, really quickly, if you're moving an ERC20 token like Chainlink, BAT, ZRX, or any other asset that runs on the Ethereum network, you're going to need to have some Ethereum in the other wallet. That's because all ERC20 tokens require some Ethereum to pay the network transaction fee. If you're moving multiple assets, move the ERC20 tokens first and your Ethereum last. Okay, so from the Ethereum wallet, click on the three dots in the top right corner and select the move funds option. Here we can paste in a copy private key or click the QR icon to scan the QR code. Let's paste the key. Now, I have a Trezor hardware wallet paired with Exodus, so I have the option here to move the Ethereum to Trezor or just to the Exodus wallet. Let's move it to the Trezor just for fun. Either way, it will be the same process. Click move funds. As you can see here, just like mobile, we're showing the transaction details. Click move and there you go. Simple and easy. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped and subscribe to the channel for more crypto videos from Exodus. And thank you for watching.